Hello, welcome to mathematics class with Flash Isaac. Today I'll be taking you through standard form. Now, give me numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 0 0.00, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Looking at this number, you realize that it is difficult to read them. And you see, there are different values. If I had given you something like this, you simply say 12 million. But when there are different numbers in between, so trying to read them becomes difficult. In that case, we try to solve in standard form. Or these are in ordinary form. So we try to put this number in standard form. Standard form is to express values or numbers in a way that will be easier for us to understand. Uh, it is also a way to reduce space. Look at the space it occupied. I can simply say uh, 12. How many zeros? 1, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 12 times 10 raised to the power of 6. So this is the same thing as 12 million. So this is how standard form works. If I'm giving you 2000, 2000 is 2 times 10 raised to the power of 3. If I give you 0. 002 you notice this one has decimal point so count from the decimal point backward and see how many decimal places so in this case this is one two three so that has three decimal places and you are counting towards this side in that case it's no longer positive this will give you two which is the last number times three to the power of minus three if you are solving this it depends on how we want to approximate. If I want just two decimal places, I can simply say this is the same thing as 12 times. Okay, if I don't want decimal place at all, I can say this is the same thing as 12 times. Then I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I want it to be in this 12. So this is 12 times 0 to the power of 7. However, if I want it here, that means I've moved 8 times, so it will be 1.2 times 10 to the power of 8. This is how you put values in standard form. It depends on how many times you move, how many times you shift, and the decimal places you actually want. So in this value, if you actually want just 1, 2, 3, and I want a decimal place, I can put the decimal place here or wherever I like. So if you are putting the decimal place here, and I'm counting. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is 12.3 uh, times 10 to the power of minus 4. So in standard form, we approximate. We try to approximate. Because in these decimal places, you notice that all these values are really not necessary. For example, if, I'm, if I give you 1.9 or 1900, and this is 19 times 10 to the power of 3 but if I want it in just one I don't want a decimal I just want a whole number I want approximated value and one digit so this is one this is nine and you know that you can approximate once the number behind is more than five you approximate so this will not turn to two because we are approximating the other nine to have two times 2.0 times 10 raised to the power of 19 times 10 raised to the power of 4. So this is what this will give you. For quadratic equation, the standard form is a s square plus b s plus c is equal to 0. So this is standard form for quadratic equation. So where a, b and c are constant. So this can be 2 s square plus 3 s plus let's say 4 is equal to 0. So this is standard form for quadratic equation. So if you are giving something like this, 2s square is equals 3s plus 4, and you are asked to solve, you know that this will be a simultaneous equation, but it's not in the standard, this will be, you know that this will be a quadratic equation, but it's not in the standard form. So we have to take it to the standard form by collecting like terms or putting it in, no, uh, in this uh, form, how it's supposed to be in this standard form. So this three s has to come down to give you minus three s minus 
4 is equal to 0. So in this case, we've changed this equation to the standard form of quadratic equation. For linear equations, it's in this form y is equals, let's say, 3s plus 2. So that is the form for linear equations. And for polynomials, we have to arrange it according to their power. So if I give you 2s squared plus s to the power of 6 minus 3s plus s to the power of 4 plus 6. So this is a polynomial. It has higher powers than 2. Linear equation has the highest power of 1. Quadratic equation, highest power is 2. So when it's more than 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's polynomials. So when you are solving polynomials, the standard form for polynomial is arranging from the highest power. So if you are putting this one in standard form polynomial, the highest power here is 6. It has to come first, s is to the power of 6, uh, then followed by 4. So plus s raised to the power of 4 plus s 2s square minus 3s plus 6. So this is the form, the standard form for polynomials. So still on standard form, if I give you something like this, 2, 3, 2, 4, 7, it's also the same thing as 3.2 times 3 raised to the power of, of 1, 2, 3, of 3. So it's the same thing as 3.247 times 10 raised to the power of 3. So it depends on how many decimal places you want or how you are approximating to. So this, if you want uh, just a single digit here, you can put this as 3 times 10 raised to the power of 3. So it depends on how you are approximating, what you are approximating to. So that's how standard form works in mathematics. Thanks for watching. I don't forget to check out my other mathematics videos. Subscribe to this channel to enjoy more. Thank you.